if you record a time lapse on your iPhone for nine minutes of clock time, it'll come out to 36 seconds of recording time for the time lapse. If you record for one minute longer, for 10 minutes on your iPhone, it'll come out to 22 seconds. What? Hi everyone, Harris here with iDownloadBlog. And have you ever wondered how time lapses work on your iPhone? I don't know if you use time lapses a lot or, or not, and I'd love to know if you do. I personally use them all the time. I, I just think time lapses are, are one of the coolest things to do with video with your phone, and Apple makes it super simple with one click tap to record. But if you think about it, there's actually several ways of getting a time lapse and an infinite amount of ways to customize each way. There's the standard, most basic, rough approach of just filming for a very, very long time, minutes or hours or days at a time, and then just going into your, your editing software and speeding it up thousands of times or hundreds of times, depending on how much you recorded. That's one way, but you're, you can get hundreds and hundreds of gigabytes of, of footage if you do it that way. There's the option of, uh, instead of recording you know, standard 30 frames per second video, you record at one or two frames per second, which a lot of cameras can do, and that way it speeds up that footage when you play it back at 30 frames per second because it's recording at you know between 12x and 15x fewer uh, shots so when it stitches it together it's a much faster image there's also the option to scrap the video altogether and just do photos which is the most professional option uh, you take a bunch of photos and you stitch them all together and you play them back at 24 or 30 or 60 or whatever many frames per second that you want and that's the most professional option because if you do that you can shoot in raw images and then you can tweak each image to really pull out uh, the detail or the highlights of the shadows especially for um, sunrises and, and sunsets those are super valuable to have when you have really intense uh, highlights and shadows that you want to bring out so anyway that's all just to say there's a lot of ways of doing time lapses but what does apple do when you just press that one record button and just press that one stop button how do they do it because if you've noticed if you've ever done that no matter how long you're recording whether it be 10 hours or 10 days or 10 minutes or 10 seconds well not 10 seconds but 10 minutes or you know 10 hours it's going to come out somewhere between 20 and 40 seconds long but how does that work and after doing some research the answer i discovered is twofold one yes apple does do photos so they're not doing video they're taking a bunch of individual still images and stitching it together at 30 frames per second, 1920 by 1080p resolution every time. Even if you have the iPhone 14 Pro or the iPhone 7, you're getting, getting the same 1080p final resolution at 30 frames per second. But secondly, they actually have a really interesting dynamic speed adjustment setting that changes how much and how often it takes those images depending on how long you're recording and will go back and delete extra footage to always keep it between that 20 and 40 seconds of final product. So I found this website that actually has a graph of how exactly this works and I'll leave a link down to that uh, that article and major props to them for doing this research. Okay, so here's how it works. So if you're recording for fewer than 10 minutes, Apple will record two frames every second. So instead of the 30 frames per second, it'll record only two frames, two images per second, which will be a obviously a 15 times speed increase uh, because two instead of 30. Now, if you record 10 to 20 minutes, they record one frame every second, which is a 30 times speed bump, and it will go back to those first 10 minutes and delete every other frame. That way it matches that 30x speed difference. Now, if you record between 20 and 40 minutes, it'll take one frame every two seconds. So you're looking at a 60x increase. So instead of 60 frames in two seconds, it's one frame in two seconds. So 60x increase. And then it goes back to the previous footage and deletes accordingly to match that same rate. So it'll go back and, and delete um, every other image of the, the previous 10 to 20 minutes. Now, if you're recording from 40 minutes to one hour and 20 minutes, it will take one frame every four seconds instead of 120 frames every four seconds for a 120 times increase in your footage. And it will go back to the previous 20 to 40 minute footage and delete frames, 10 to 20 minutes footage and the less than 10 minutes footage has already been kept up to date. So this way there is kind of a threshold that you cross and every time you do that, it changes the footage before it. So it's really interesting. And this means that you're never gonna fill up all your storage because Apple is actively managing um, your storage and deleting old frames, um, but also just making sure that the footage stays smooth because it's a consistent frame rate 
throughout the whole thing. So it's a really intelligent process that Apple does here. Uh, and I thought it was just really neat to learn this. So I love time lapses. I do think they're so frustrating on the iPhone because 1080p is, is like what two megapixel images, whereas the newer iPhones are capable of 14 megapixels and really up to whatever the new iPhone is, 50 megapixels. So you only need about eight megapixels, a little bit more for 4K resolution. So Apple could be letting us have uh, 4K time lapses and maybe even HDR if you take each image as an HDR image. Um, that's what's possible with time lapses. Apple doesn't give us that, which is really unfortunate. I think with the newer pro iPhones, you could have 4K HDR time lapses, which would be amazing. I think that might just take up a lot of storage and a lot more processing time and maybe really kill your iPhone's battery life. Um, and I think probably very few people actually really do time lapses, but I still think it's a capable feature. Um, I never got to check out Instagram's hyperlapse app. I, I was told that was a really cool um, time lapse app for the iPhone. They, they I think, uh, took that off the app store this year. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I just thought the history and the background of the time lapse feature, which has been around on the iPhone since I believe iOS 8, is super cool. Let me know if you use this or not, uh, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.